what is happening as you can see i'm filthy which means one thing's happening the lexus culture shock is in 18 days from now and the car currently is an absolute bombshell good thing is rear bumper boot spoiler roof spoiler side skirts and front bumper they've all been put into high build so bonnet's ready wing still needs a repair the front doors i am having a full-blown meltdown over basically the wrap peeled all the paint it's i don't know you can probably hear it here yeah so i'm basically having to sand the doors right back to get all of the previous paint off quarters i had a go at filling them to try and get rid of the kind of ripple way too much work i have no idea what i'm doing with it so unfortunately that's not going to be done on both sides for the show um maybe at a later date we will get someone who actually knows what they're doing to redo them but if the plans with the car go the way that the plans with the car are going i'm not going to care about ripley quarters so we're basically just on a mad push i've got the plan was to get it in the booth this weekend we're on monday so if i can squeeze a couple of days after work to just get up do as much prep work as i can we might make painting at the weekend but we'll see what happens i did however manage to sort out the aerial area so there's no more crack well yeah there might be down the line but we'll deal with that when we get there still obviously need to get the tire seal off the window but we have progress some not great but some so this is about all i've got in me tonight i've had my mini meltdowns i've had progress i'm just going home dinner bath chill out it is starting to get somewhere though these front doors these are what have gave me my my meltdowns but we are making progress hopefully fingers crossed we'll get enough done we'll get it into the bay on friday which means saturday it can get painted once it's painted i've still got calipers to paint so that they're all fresh again white calipers look the best just not it for a car you use they're not it if you don't drive a car probably mint but if you drive a car eh, don't do it you'll hate yourself they just they just end up brown or if you brake heavy they end up yellow and it's disgusting um but we're getting somewhere that's the main thing i also still need to address the exhaust or lack of the exhaust i actually got a fine for that so we really need to address that so it's day two of the prep work this door let's see if i can get a better view all of the not great paint is off it so now we have the joy of starting this door which is actually the worst of the two and it's took me about two hours just to do this one so that's fun but for the most part we have actual progress and it's currently wednesday the plan is to get it into the booth on friday night which is even more fun so i better get cracking we're back again i'm not actually doing anything to it tonight um it's thursday right now Tomorrow, Friday, as soon as I finish work, I am coming up. I need to pop the wing mirrors in, drive it to Adrian's, and from there, fingers crossed, we get it taped up into primer, and I will have my
my first go on Saturday at painting a car. Wonder what colour it's going. So, bonnet's been sanded. Doors, you've seen, we had the nightmare with them. They're done. Rear doors, rear overs, done. Um, what's going to happen tomorrow? I've not done the A-pillars in it. I don't have a soft pad for the sander. So I've got a quick shot of Adrian's. Blast them with 500 or 600. Kit just needs wet sanded. Um, but so will the rest once that's all in primer anyway. So we literally just need it roughly together, get it down there, and then we'll crack on with the rest of the prep work. What's happening, it is now Friday. We are in the booth. Adrian is currently finishing off the last bits of prep work that were kind of beyond me or I just didn't know. Uh, but as you can see, we're taped up. Adrian thinks he can hide for the camera, not a chance. Taped up. Adrian thinks that we'll be in primer tonight. What do you say to that? I don't think I know. We'll Adrian knows, he knows. We'll be in primer tonight, which means paint soon. Woo! So, car's now ready for primer. I can get a wee, wee look in. Um, we're currently waiting on the compressor building up. While doing that, I have had the worst time trying to get my magnet plate magnets to stick to the fiberglass. I've tried super glue, I've tried hot glue over the top of them, I've tried double sided tape, nothing seems to stick. So what we're going to do, fiberglass sheeting, I'm just going to put a layer over the magnets so that that will stick to the bumper and hold them well in ETV. So all the bits that need to be in primer are now primed. So what we're going to do is we'll let it dry then we'll block it and then the colour. A lot of people will ask why or none of this is primal. The car's getting painted with 2k. I am more or less planning to drift this once it's it's got two shows to do, culture shock and gravity, and then it's becoming a drift car. So I don't want to go too overboard with the paint job and then wreck it, hit a tire wall or hit a wall. Not that I'm intending to, but these things happen. So I don't want to go through overboard paint job and then wreck it and greet about it. I'd rather just have something that's a nice easy fix. And I'm sure Adrian would rather I have something that's a nice easy fix as well. Exactly. Because he'll obviously be the one to fix it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not. Maybe. Probably. It is day two in the booth. Adrian plans to get colour on this today. All the primer has been, well, these are still guide coated, rubbed down. Actual chassis, the car's pretty much ready. Just need to get the kit done, give everything a wipe down, pan a wipe, degrease it, and then shoot some colour. Just, I can't remember if I've actually told the video what colour it's gone. I'm not going to. These are all going to get black and white it, just because I don't know these people. So, Adrian's currently getting all the dust off there. The roof has been swept out, floors wetted, catch any dust. I'm hoping this is going to look pretty good when it's done. So, car's in the booth, taped up, wheels bag, ready to go. Kit is all sanded, all wax and grease removed, and Adrian's mixing the paint. So it's almost showtime, so my hair's on a fucking mad one. Um, but yeah, hopefully next clip you see, some colour will be going down and my stress levels will be depleting. So this is probably about the point in the video where I'll apologise for the wind noise and we'll go to black and white because the first coat of paint is down and it looks outstanding. I said it before, I'm not chasing any form of perfection with this, but it's pretty good. So as we can see, first coat is down. The car looks so much wider. Obviously, we've still got all the ripples. These are fiberglass. It would have took hours and hours of work to get these straight. But for what the car is going to be doing, I am fairly happy with it. There's the man, the myth, the legend. He's got his pain. 
We're looking good. Oh. So it's a new day and as always, I got excited, I got carried away. There's a gap in the content. The car's now back at the unit. It's half together. We've got wing mirrors back on, window trims are on, bumpers are on, clear tails are in. The only things left is to do the side skirts because I need to bond the bolts back in. Don't know if I mentioned that before. Jack plate recess back in and the spoilers on, but we'll still be in black and white now. It's so good. It, this colour's actually gave me a new lease of love for the SSRs. The for sale ad might actually come down, but even with Alpeza grill, mint. So it's another day at the unit. We have more Lexus progress. The spoilers, side skirts, all on. That means every part of the car that needs to be on the car is now on the car. Which means you would probably think this would be where I would stop black and white in the video. But I'm going to be that guy. This video is going to go up. And then I'm going to go out with Ryan, Low Motive, get some pictures. Ryan likes a wee reel, might get him to do a reel. Then you will see it. So keep watching, look out, da -da YouTube chat, like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on, you might actually see the colour.